Hello, I'm Bradley. Welcome to my video. Today, a really, really special day. This is besides my review clip, which I had decided to do, which is the Trevor Sorbet male grooming range. However, just before we get started into that, I really just want to sort of mark this milestone. So today I feel absolutely ecstatic and really over the moon because today is really, really special. So the 5th of June and it's 2019. It's my grandmother's birthday who I absolutely adore and absolutely treasure and love so, so, so much. My nan turned 93 today, so I have spent most of the day with her besides my uh, twin brother and my mum. And we have had an absolutely amazing time and she was really, really, really well. Uh, she really is truly inspirational and she really is our world. And it's just absolutely incredible to mark this occasion today. So I really just wanted to start my clip. She's done so much for me and she's been such an inspiration in my life. Um, and I've been really privileged to have like two mothers in my life. So really, really special and really, really incredible. So a big shout out. Um, and it's been absolutely amazing to share that day with her today. So 93, absolutely huge. Um, so it's been really, really incredible. So feel really quite kind of overwhelmed and it's just so, so special and it's just incredible. The whole day I've just sort of been going the 5th of June, the 5th of June, the 5th of June. And it's just incredible. Never ever thought we'd get here. And um, it's just been absolutely amazing. So really, really special and really, really close to my heart. So. I absolutely am quite quite taken back for words, don't really know what to say, but just really wanted to mark that if I was doing a clip today. So it's my nan's birthday, she's 93, absolutely incredible. I love her so, so much. Okay, so moving on. So today we are doing a review on some products which I have been using uh, on and off lately, uh, not for very long. I haven't used them a huge amount of time, but they are certainly a product range which I've seen in boots for a while. Um, and I have used one or two of the products from the range, but now recently what I've done is I've brought the thickening spray, the shampoo and the hair gel, which is products which I would most most likely use most of the time. Um, so they have a number of other uh, products in the range, but these are the products which I would use uh, if I was styling my hair. So going forward very quickly what I would say is there is actually no men's conditioner in this range so it is just a shampoo or there is a three for one product uh, three in one product rather and um, which is a body wash a face wash and a shampoo. So we're just going to but that would be a great start for us to uh, to start in our first product. So this is the male grooming Trevor Sorvet uh, thickening uh, caffeine shampoo which is for fine and thinning hair so just very quickly I'll tell you a little bit more about it so it leaves hair feeling thicker and fuller with caffeine and ginseng extracts helps thicken hair and cares for the scalp a little bit more on the back here so it's sulfate sodium and paraben free formulation is gentle on the scalp and helps promote healthy hair caffeine extract stimulates roots to help promote thicker hair and add body and the ginseng extract helps promote healthier and stronger hair help hair feel thicker and fuller with thickening caffeine shampoo so a really really lovely product really nice scent it's a little bit different it's quite uh it's almost quite herbal um, and it's a really almost quite a sharp smell it's got a real hint of like a masculine solid cologne but it's quite sweet and quite sharp um, and what I would say it's a really it's a product which and, and first what I would point out it's got no sulfates no sodium and no parabens now of course that's so the hair feels really really natural really really healthy it's got nothing sort of artificially coating the hair to make it artificial or sort of that imitation sort of sleekness softness it does it all naturally so this shampoo I have used this several times now, but what I would say, if you have uh, hair, like for example, my style today, lots of product in it, it's not gonna be the best product to wash the product build up out. Um, it is, I would say, for if you, that first thing in the morning, you've got no product in your hair. For example, me, very often I, um, in fact, I do every evening because I wear products in my hair, I wash my hair in the evening um, and then I condition my hair again. In the morning, I also wash my hair and that just starts, uh, starts my day and I've got then a perfect uh, fresh sort of base for me to style my hair, my condition my hair as well. So I tried this in the evening uh, when I had a lot of product in my hair and I thought that it didn't really work that well on actually stripping the products out. So I didn't give up on the product. Um, I then came back in the morning whilst I didn't have no product in it. So of course your hair sort of everywhere in the morning. Um, and of course you want that fresh feeling to start your style for the day. This then was amazing. So I would say if you've got light sort of product in your hair or if you've got natural hair and you don't wear products in your hair, a really, really fantastic product to use. What I would say straight off, it doesn't really have very many conditioning agents in there. So it really makes your hair feel a little bit more thicker and a lot more resistant 
resistance in the hair almost immediately. The hair I found where it does give that bit more uh, structure, that resistance in the hair, it does make the hair sometimes almost feel a little bit more rougher in texture. It gives a lot more texture in the hair. Um, now, if you've got really, really short hair, that's really, really amazing. You wouldn't have to use any conditioner. For me, with a slightly little bit more of length in the, in the front here now, of course, I've had a lot of my hair cut recently off shorter, um, but I still find that I need a little bit more conditioner in here. So for some people, of course, it's going to be amazing. For my choice, will I buy the shampoo again? Um, if I had really short, short spiky hair, then yes, absolutely I would. Because I'm intending on growing my hair longer, um, I'm not possibly going to be jumping back in with this shampoo. It is a great product. Um, I know one of my actual uh, brothers really, really loves this product. Um, he's got finer texture hair. Um, and he really, really likes the thickening element and the sort of the herbal sort of senses and uh, the sort of the thickening element of it, which I know he uses. And that's a product which I know he likes. But however, for me, it wouldn't be a choice that I would purchase one, this one again. I believe price range, it's around about the £7 mark, I believe. Um, now, I know that has changed pretty much recently. I think it's got a little bit more expensive, but I think it's in between the range of between £7 and £10. So it is a little bit more. I think I actually paid £7.50 for this and currently I bought that in boots um, and I have only seen this range online and in boots. Trevor Sorbet do other conditioners but they don't actually do a men's a specific conditioner aimed for men's hair I don't believe but please don't quote me on that. So because of course I said that I needed a little bit more of a conditioning element I have been using on and off before this shampoo for quite a while and you'd have seen this product in my clips um, which lovely uh, really really lovely lovely product and it takes us on nicely to the second product which I want to review here uh, and that is the thicker and fuller thickening spray which adds body and fullness now this helps thicken hair and helps care for scalp and of course this is the men grooming range by Trevor Sorbet and it complements the shampoo fantastically now I found when I first bought this that it was a little bit oily and I thought if you use too much it would make the hair slightly greasy but however if you look a little bit more into it add texture and thickness to hair with thickening spray with botanical blend multivitamin and amino acid complexes to help promote thicker hair and care for the scalp adds body and fullness to fine thinning hair cruelty free and vegan so because it's got those amino acids in there and those oils I believe that really helps the hair grow through uh, healthier not necessarily thicker but this spray with what's in here helps create thicker and more sort of manageable hair and I can really really vouch for that it almost makes the hair sort of stand up more it really sort of makes the hair feel fuller and it sort of gives that plumping effect which is great when you're creating that style if you've got a thinner texture of hair going to Back to what I mentioned, if I sprayed a bit too much on this, particularly in my hairline, and I was drying my hair through, it was really, really difficult then to get rid of that sort of ever so slightly oily feeling. Now, which I which I worked out for myself, which was great. If the conditioner was, they had no conditioning element in there, what was really great if I thought my hair was a little bit dry, a little bit too much texture and resistance, I needed some condition, this spray straight over the top was brilliant because I wanted to try them out fully. I didn't want to sort of include another conditioner. Now, I probably will do that We'll do that in the future, uh, use another conditioner from some of the products which I have on top of this shampoo. But to give this a full review, um, I didn't want to mix it, so I just wanted to use products from the range. So what i done is I sprayed this through my hair, um, and again, it was it really, really complemented each other, and that was the answer if it made my hair slightly a little bit more too resistant and too much texture, and possibly ever so slightly, I don't want to say it, but it does sometimes, I thought, make your hair a little bit drier. It's not that conditioning. Um, but of course, it does give volume and it does make your hair fuller and thicker. Um, and that's because it gives that instant resistance and because it sort of makes your hair not that sleek and sort of uh, sort of that polished sort of feeling. It gives that instant resistance, sort of makes the hair a little bit more texture to stand up. So the spray perfectly complemented that over the top. Really, really like that. I have also used that in a lot of my other clips and I used that sort of after I've shampooed and conditioned my hair and sprayed that through my hair and then styled it off with a blow dryer. It creates great fullness and a really great body, which does last. And if you're creating styles such as like a pompadour, which you know from my clips now I really, really like, or if you're doing like a one uh, slightly off to the side uh, with lots of volume and things in the front, a really Really great product to use. So how much is it? I pay uh, £7 for this and I have bought several of these over the last couple of weeks um, because what I do very often is if my hair's a little bit uh, dry and unruly before I go to bed, quickly spray it through my hair and then it's really really nice um, because sometimes I find with some shampoos and conditioners this is when I had longer hair, it can slightly make the hair a little bit sort of uh, unruly. My hair's a little bit wavy when I don't do anything to it. So this really, really adds control and manageability. So sort of a spray in your hair whenever, really, really great product to have.
Moving on, styling your hair. Now, this is a product which I have bought once before. However, I ended up giving it away as a gift. And this is because there's no sort of nasties or anything in this product. And very often, uh, why I do uh, look at this range, and it's something which I'm more and more looking into. Um, however, I haven't bought many other products, but I really quite like the thickening spray and I like the gel. And as I say, I've bought this before. And what really surprised me about this, and I'll just show you, is it's this one here. So it's the, I'll just say the actual full name. So it's for sculpting and slicked back styles. Firm control gel, lasting firm hold and a high shine. Helps thicken hair, cares for the scalp. Now I bought this before because it's for slicked back styles. Very often, as you can see today, I've got my classic side slick back style. And this is what I really like. I have got a video of that if you want to have a look at that as well. Um, but I first bought this because I seen slicked back. It was a bonus then when I looked into it and I'll, and I'll read you what I found. So with botanical blend, multi vitamin and amino acid complexes to help promote thicker hair appearance and care for the scalp with UV protection properties, sculpts and molds, firm hold and high shine wet look finish so that was a bonus because i bought this for slick back styles i thought it would help me i always get trying to go for products which help me create the styles which i really really like um, and of course what works with you it makes it much more easier to style your hair but however what i really really like about this again and i didn't say that on the actual spray the smell is sort of almost like a sporty sort of fragrance and sort of a slight element of masculine sort of cologne and that nice herbal sort of high uh, almost like a sharp scent and the gel smells very much like that as well um so they have got similar smells throughout uh, the range here but what really really surprised me of a hair gel very often because I use so much hair gel um, in sort of pomades and creams creating the look what I've got today after about the full day when it gets to around about eight to nine o'clock at night and it's been tight to my scalp all day and I've got hairspray over the top of this as well or free spray um, I find that I end up starting to get a little bit of a tension headache and that sounds crazy through a star what you've got but because if I've been studying or if I've been a bit stressed out if it's been a bit of a difficult day at work or one thing or another going on we all have them sometimes a normal regular hair gel which I still like will give me a little bit of tension I suppose because your hair your scalp's not sort of moving freely or you've got a lot of product build up in your hair and it gives me a bit of a tension headache with this gel I can almost feel my hair's still and it's still a high hold, but it's almost like that I can feel I've got that sort of natural element. And that sounds strange again, but it's just that because I don't get that tension and it really, really sort of makes me feel like that I haven't worn it all day. It's almost like a bit more of a fresher feeling come the evening, which is really, really nice. However, I would say, yes, it's a high hold, but it's not a freeze hold. Very often I use a freeze hold for styles like what I've got today. My favourite one, for example, the O5 freeze hold or another one is the got to be phenomenal uh cream gel which is another really favorite of mine uh for creating styles like this but however i do like this because it's aimed for a slick back however you do have to sometimes go in that extra time just to make sure that it's combed in it's stayed where you've wanted it to go um but of course it's got all those natural things in here and it's a really great product price wise it's around about the seven pounds mark again um it is a little bit more than possibly what you pay for a high street brand product but of course it's not got those nasty products in there which might sort of give you that little bit of tension if you've wore it for a quite a long time throughout the day or it might be a little bit sticky i know those uh traditional hair gels which i used to use um some years ago and i won't mention the name of the brands of course because they are still about i'm not that old of course um still very young um i and some if you buy it now i know if you comb it or if you touch it through it goes into sort of like bits so those gels I really cannot stand and I really, really hate. Uh, this doesn't happen with that. And of course, it doesn't actually happen. They've got to be a uh, phenomenal cream gel or the VO5 freeze one either. Um, but this one certainly doesn't do that. It's always the first thing I look for in a hair gel if it creates those bits in your hair, all those white marks. So that has brought us to, I believe, the end of reviewing these three products. So again, they're from Male Grooming Trevor Sorbet. They're all within around about the same price range. Um, now, the other products which I know they do, which I haven't tried, is I know they do like a, a wax, which possibly would be a product I would try in the future. I'm using some favourites at the moment, um, which I really, really like. So I, it's not going to be something which I'm going to be purchasing soon, but however, I might do in the future. Um, and there is a three, uh, three in one uh, shampoo, body wash and face wash, which I haven't used. Um, again, I may try that in the future. Um, 
And let me just think, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's any other products because I didn't, I, when I used to look at this range, this is a pretty new one. This thickening spray is a new one and I really, really love this. This is probably my favorite out of the range, but I would definitely say that they are certainly, they are certainly a product range which if you've seen them in boots, absolutely give them a try. I'd say for the shampoo, if you've got really, really short hair, absolutely fantastic. And it's thickening, it's got the caffeine in there. Of course, we've done uh, we've done a review of Alpazin, really, really love Alpazin shampoo, which is a well-known caffeine uh, brand. And of course, if you're looking for that, uh, that element of before sort of a problem sets in, if you've got perhaps a little bit more um, of a hair fall in your hair, why not jump in? Why not jump in with a caffeine shampoo? And again, with no sulfates and everything, you're really going to be looking after your scalp and you're really going to be looking after your follicles. Again, I'm saying short hair, but if you want to give it a try and for longer hair lengths, really, really great. If you've got longer hair lengths and you're using this spray over the top, then then it works perfectly. Absolutely works perfectly. And again, that would be certainly something I would use in the future. As I say, I'm, I wouldn't rush to buy the shampoo again because of personal choice for me. Um, caffeine shampoos, I really, really like Alpazin, but I like this one as well. So of course, it's nice to try new things. Um, but on the whole, really nice product range. Um, and I would certainly recommend them. And hopefully you've took some tips and things away from what we've done today. What I would also say as well, um, is there a really nice sort of fresh herbal fragrance, which if you're not feeling particularly great or you're feeling a little bit uh, sort of pasty almost, the last thing you want is like a heavy product in your hair, really great range to use from that perspective as well. Or if you give, or very often I've spoken to people who have products in their hair, it gives them sometimes headaches or a little bit of tension or can make them feel sort of like a little bit uh, bogged down with product sort of all in your hair and things and it can make some people get a little bit agitated. Um, so a Again, a great range for that because it's soft, it's sort of fresh, and it's and it's really quite uh, a really nice sort of long-lasting sort of uh, real almost like you you haven't got product in your hair, but you have because they haven't got those sort of sulfates or those elements in there which very often coat the hair. So of course the uh, sprays and the products here are free from sulfates, uh, they're free from uh, sodium, I believe, and they're free from parabens, those products which naturally coat the hair. And I know, for example. That when we're just having a look back on here the shampoo is free of that as well i know some conditioners and some sprays have that i don't believe any of the other products do have that in there but please don't quote me on that okay just very very quickly how i styled my hair today so you'll be pleased to know i have used the shampoo in my hair today um and what i have done i've used a small amount i do find i have to wet my hair first of all rubbing a small amount of the shampoo through my hair um giving that a quick massage on my scalp really fresh really invigorating after that i do find my hair's a little bit too resistant for me um too much texture so that's probably why i wouldn't rush to it again but i would wouldn't not say i wouldn't use it in the future then i've sprayed a good spray of this thickening spray and i always find it's like a, a nice element of condition through here as well so i sprayed that through my hair too gave that a quick massage through dried my hair back just really really rough um just sort of no comb or brush today really really rough backwards once that dry once that's dry and i've left a little bit of moisture left in my hair i have gone in with a firm control gel about a golf ball size amount i do use quite a lot of gel so i've used that as well and then i have gone back through my hair once it's dry makes it quite resistant to comb it through so that's why i always leave it a little bit damp and i've gone over comb combed it right backwards and then when i've got those nice defined lines so straight back over on both sides and then back over here grabbing a mirror and making sure that it's combed both sides and down to the point which i like in my hair and then what i've done is i've grabbed a comb parted off my hair and then I've pulled that section of hair over and I've lifted up ever so slightly to create that slight amount of volume and I've just made sure that's quite sleek brushing back over and then the side here I've brushed that over so I've got that nice sleekness too and then what I have actually done is I've gone over with my favorite uh, hairspray and I have used the Schwarzcroft got to be uh, blasting freeze spray you know the yellow can product which I very often have used in my clips and I sprayed that all over my hair just to finish off the style um, and I really, really do like it. Of course, we've mentioned about there being no products in sort of uh, sulfates and things in there. Of course, that's great. But however, from my personal choice, I just grabbed a free spray just to finish off my style. Uh, so if you've got a sensitive scalp, that would be a really great product range to use. And absolutely, if you see them out and about, certainly I would recommend you giving them a try. So I hope you've enjoyed my clip today. If you've taken any of the tips on board, absolutely give them a try. Um, a really great favourite of mine, jumping out, doing clips like this, trying out new products. There will be a lot more to come, hopefully. And as I say, I really had to mention that today. I've had such a fantastic day, being it's my nan's birthday today. A really, really treasured moment, and I just had to shout that out 
on this clip. So thank you very, very much for watching. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye for now. Bye now.